I'm Ron Miller from the law firm Miller & Zoys. I'm going to talk to you about electronic fetal monitoring mistakes during the childbirth process and how they can result in serious birth injuries. During labor and delivery, a baby's heart rate is continuously tracked through an electronic fetal heart monitor. Tracking the fetal heart rate is done as a means of assessing the baby's oxygenation, including oxygenation of the baby's brain. You know, a fetus cannot speak, but during childbirth, the fetus can speak to us in a sense through the electronic heart monitor. The fetus might say, hey, I'm doing great. But the fetus might also say, hey, I'm in a hostile environment and things need to change or I need to be, be delivered very quickly. Doctors and nurses that listen to that fetus, that listen to that voice, can avoid birth injuries that can last a lifetime. The fetal monitor produces a strip which can be read and analyzed almost continually during the birthing process to determine whether the baby's heart rate is suggestive of oxygen deprivation or some other complication. A normal variation in the fetal heart rate is what they call a reassuring sign of fetal well-being. So fetal monitor tracing show fetal well-being, which is heart rate, heart rate accelerations, heart rate accelerations, or they can also show fetal distress, which are called late decelerations with decreased variability. When properly used and interpreted, electric fetal monitoring devices can effectively warn doctors and nurses of the danger in advance and give them time to intervene and prevent harm to the baby. Unfortunately, this is not how things always work out in practice. The failure to provide appropriate fetal monitoring or properly respond to warning signs is a frequent allegation we see in labor and delivery medical malpractice birth injury lawsuits. Mistakes and improper use of the fetal heart monitor are far too often commonplace and can often have very serious and life-altering consequences. A review of birth injury malpractice cases reveals that Fetal monitoring mistakes tend to fall in one of three categories. One, the doctors or nurses simply ignore the EFM warnings. The child's calling and no one's listening. The second category of problems is the misinterpretation of the EFM patterns, usually thinking something is okay when it's not. And third, it's the failure to properly use or improper setup of the fetal monitoring in the first place. All these things can cause permanent harm to the child. My law firm handles birth injury malpractice cases. If you'd like our help, call me. You can reach me at 800-553-8082. Thank you.